Hey everyone, Shadows here. Today I'm showing you how to port Apex Legends models from the game files over to Blender. Since my last trailer, there's a more updated and easier version of the method that I'm going to be showing you how to do in today's video. Before we start, there'll be a link in the description below to the 3D Art Discord, which has an Apex Legion chat. If you have any issues with porting Apex models or you need any help with the program, make sure to just ask in here and me and the staff team will try our best. You can ask where any skins are, or if you're looking for any certain uh, meshes or models or props or anything, you can ask in here and we'll try our best to help you. To get straight into the tutorial, there'll be a link in the description to this website where you can download Legion, which is the program we're going to be using to go inside the game files. Down here, there'll be a download link area where you can download the latest version. And to run Legion, you need to have Visual Studio 2019 Redis installed on your computer. So make sure you have this installed. Most computers come straight with it, but if you have any issues with Legion, try installing this again. All you have to do is just click this latest version of Legion and download the zip file. It will pop up like this, Legion release version, whatever version it is by the time you're watching this video. For me it's version 2.13. All you've got to do is open the zip file and there'll be a Legion.exe in the EULA. Nobody reads the EULA, leave that. Drag this uh, Legion.exe to your desktop or wherever you want to do it, your downloads folder. You can close the zip file and just delete the zip file right here, you're finished with it. Once you've got this Legion file, just create a new folder anywhere and just call it Legion Apex Legends Portal, whatever you really want to do it. I'm just going to call it Legion and we're going to drag this Legion.exe file inside the folder. I'm going to open this folder, double click Legion to run it. This pop up might come up, if it does just click yes, if it doesn't just leave it. And Legion will load up like so. There will be a .config file created over here, just leave that. And in Legion, we're going to go to the settings down here, the settings area, and we're going to untick all of these three right here. Untick images, materials and animations, unless you're exporting animations, which I'll make a tutorial in the future. Just leave models ticked. Images are the textures, but they'll export with the model just by itself. They'll have a separate folder. Leave all of this stuff, leave it as just SE model, leave it as whatever, we don't need to touch any of this. We can close this, and when we click load file, it will open up our packs folder for Apex. If it doesn't open up your packs folder for you, there'll be a folder on your PC called Origin Games, Apex, Packs, and Win64. This folder will be filled with everything that makes up Apex, these bigger files being more important, and these smaller files being like loading screens and like custom like uh, card frames and stuff like that. These files aren't important. Anything under about 10,000 kilobytes is basically useless. These top files right here, if you sort by size, so normally they'll be sorted by a pretty alphabetical order like so, all you got to do is just change it up to size and they'll be sorted from biggest to smallest. So these big files up here are the most important ones. Common.rpack, this will be mostly likely the biggest one. This contains all the cosmetics of the game, so all the skins, all the uh, battle pass skins, uh, all the weapons, everything like that. All the models we're sort of looking for are in the Common.rpack file. In the Desertlands file, this contains all of the World's Edge models. So if there's like a map, if there's something on the map that you're looking for, then you can just uh, you can just open the Desert Lands file. But uh, that will be for the World's Edge and for Canyon Lands. This is Kings Canyon. So if you're looking for any props from Kings Canyon, Canyon Lands, and if you're looking for World's Edge, Desert Lands. But we're looking for cosmetics today, so we're going to double click on Commander R Pack, and it will load every single model from all the cosmetics, everything like that. So it's loaded 703 models for me. It will probably be more in the future. And if you scroll down right here. We can click on a model, just click one, and it will highlight in blue, in a red, highlight like so, a coin, all of this sort of stuff, bird, and all you got to do when you've selected a model, just uh, it's highlighted in red, not actually double clicked or anything, you can just click P, and it will open up a model viewer. So if we hold Alt and left click, we can drag around like this to move around. We can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and we can also use Alt and middle mouse button to move around like this. So you can move around like this in the model viewer, check out the model without any textures before you actually export it. So if you're looking for one of the legends, you, you can search pilot. This will be all the legends. So right here we've got Caustic, like so. We've got some of the legendary skins of Caustic, the Halloween clown one. We've got Gibraltar right here, Pathfinder, who we're going to be exporting today. Revenant. Some of these uh, legends actually have different names inside of Legion. So for instance, Lifeline is actually called Support inside of Legion instead. I don't know why they decided to change her name inside of here, but like her name is not Lifeline in here. So if you're searching Lifeline, you won't find anything. Just search support. Same with uh, 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 there's Mirage down here. He's called Hollow instead inside the game files. So these are all his skins right here. Hollow. Same with Octane, and he is called Stim. Those are the code names of the legends inside the files. The rest of them are their normal names. There might be more legends in the future that are different names. So just look down this area, this list and look for the sort of legend you're looking for. If you scroll down a bit further, you'll see uh, POV, POV and PTPOV. These are the files we don't want to export. So this 
contains the low the low res models that are used for first person so when you're in first person mode you don't actually see any of the head you don't see in the middle part of the body you don't see much of the actual character so they uh, then the if Apex has decided to get rid of that part of the model to reduce lag so you sort of look like this the arms be stretched out so these models are very low quality and they've got a bit of their, they've got a lot missing they've got no heads for one and some of the bodies missing in most of them so never export the POV models always stick to the pilot models just normal pilot underscore medium heavy or light also if you're looking for weapons inside this file W underscore that will bring up all the weapons so we've got like the uh, the wingman right here we've got uh, all this uh, this is uh, I think this is the chart no that's not the chart there's all these weapons I don't play apex that much I don't exactly the weapons here's the charge rifle for example here's a triple take I don't know why it's called double take I don't really know here's the G7 scout all these sort of weapons are right here the hemlock all this sort of stuff even stuff like backpacks backpacks are right here same with uh, phoenix kits and shield batteries so if you're ever looking for any of this sort of stuff then just come into the W underscore area. Anyway, we're exporting a Pathfinder today, so we're gonna either type pilot or just Pathfinder. So we're gonna search Pathfinder and it will bring up all these Pathfinder skins. So this is the normal Pathfinder skin, like so. This is the normal Pathfinder. Then we've got the Ice version, Knight, Legendary 01, Legendary 02, Butler, Christmas, and the Season 4 skin for the uh, System Override event. But we're gonna go for the Season 3 Butler skin. It's quite a nice skin that shows uh, a good idea of knowledge of porting I don't know it's just a nice looking skin so once you've found the model you want to export double click it and uh, at status it will say exporting for a second and then exported if you go to a legion folder there'll be an exported files uh, uh, folder and there'll be a models and then it'll be the name of your model and there'll be an images folder and your SE model file so if you go to the images folder these will be these won't have any names now we're gonna fix this in a minute but these would be a pain to put into Blender, like you would not know what is which, but we're going to use a program to add names to them. So we've got the SE model file here. We can't actually use that to find the names. We can use it to import into Blender, but we can't use it to find the names. So back in uh, Legion, we're going to go to the settings on the same, uh, we're going to leave it hovering over the same model, and instead of SE model, we're going to click cast. Now this will export a .cast file. So if you double click it again, exporting exported, it exports a .cast file. We need to use this to find the textures. We're not actually going to import this into Blender. We're going to import the SE model. But Cast shows us where the textures are and what they're called. So if we close Legion, we're finished with it. Unless you want to export multiple models. We're finished with Legion. Now we have to go to the link in the description below where you can download COD Image Util. Now COD, of course, Call of Duty, you might think that's a bit weird. But it also supports Apex Legends with the Cast file. So down here where it says COD Image Util.1. 2 or 1. Point, whatever the version is by the time you've up watched this video click that .zip file and it will start downloading we've already got it on our desktop right here this is called image util.zip file we're going to open it up drag out the .exe license nobody cares all right close this delete the code image util zip file and we're just going to run the program now it might pop up with this again i don't know why this pops up for me all the time if it does just click yes and here we have the program code image util by scobab scobalula Scobalula, okay, we've got Scobalula right here, his program, we're going to open up our folder, so we're going to go to the Legion folder on the desktop, exported files, models, then find the model, whatever you exported, and this .cast file right here, we're going to drag it into the COD image util by Scobalula, we're going to drag it in here, and it will be processing, and it's complete. Now if we close this, we can close COD image util, unless we've got any more models to process, we can close that. And now there's a lot of folders, as you can see, and these are all the name textures of all the models. So we've got the part of the body, we've got the head, all named, we've got everything like that, the, uh, the attachment, we've got everything named. It's so much easier than going through here and guessing which one's which. It just saves so much time. So all you've got to do is just drag the cast file into there and it names all the textures for us. So we've got all the textures right here, they're all named. Now we just need to import the model into Blender and texture it ourselves. Now we've got Blender open, but we can't actually import .se model files 
it's not actually here. So we need to download this plugin, import SE model. When you download this, there'll be a link in the description below. Once you get to this page, just click clone or download and click download zip. Now we're gonna go back to Blender. We're gonna click file. We're gonna click edit preferences. Once we're just in normal Blender and go to this add-ons tab and click install. Now to go to wherever you saved that uh, .zip file, io underscore model underscore SE model, Blender 2.8, just double click it and it will pop up right here, import, export, SE model support. We just need to tick this little box right here and now we've got it activated. So if we go to file, import, we can now import .se model files. We're just going to remove everything in the normal Blender and we're going to do file, import, SE model. We're going to go back to the desktop. We're going to go legion, exported files, go to your models and find that file of that model you exported and just import the .se model. So we've imported it right here. Here he is. If we go to uh, the viewport, here are all the skins. Uh, well, it's, it's textured right now. Some people may think it looks alright, but it doesn't. This is disgusting. This is a disgrace. If you make some sort of thumbnail or piece using just imported straight away and you don't texture properly, you are disgraced. So you don't deserve any life. But yes, I'm, I'm harsh about this. This is disgusting. So we're going to texture it properly. And some skins don't actually look right when it's just the uh, the normal the, the base color because they require like a bit of metal on them. Like this guy has a bit of gold on him, so we need to use that on the specular texture. Now I'm going to explain what textures are. So we're going to go back to our folder. We're going to open up a random thing. I'm going to open up the body. Normally I open up the body. That has the most textures. And here we have six textures. Sometimes there's seven, but we've got six textures right here. We've got the albedo. The albedo is the base color. That's the one that it's imported straight away. So this guy only has the albedo on him. This is the main color. This is the main skin right here, the albedo. Next, we have the AO texture. This adds a little bit of creases. This adds ambient occlusion. Uh, AO stands for ambient occlusion. Adds all this sort of detail around. Adds a tiny bit and you can turn up the strength with the shader that we have. So this is the AO texture. Then we also have the emissive texture. This is, if anything glows on the skin, this gives it its glow. So if you plug it into emission, then it makes everything glow. Most skins don't actually have an emissive texture, but because this Pathfinder, some of his body actually glows in game, then it has this emissive texture. So don't worry if your model doesn't actually have an emissive texture, it might not actually have anything that glows on it. We have the gloss texture. This is the glossiness slash roughness. This glossiness, it just uh, adds a bit of roughness to the model, adds a bit of like a sh like shine sort of reflectiveness. It just makes, adds more detail basically. Most of these uh, textures just add more detail. And we've got the normal texture, which adds a lot of detail. Without the normal texture, the model looks pretty horrific. So make sure to always add the normal texture. And then also the specular, which makes a bit of metallic, makes a bit of uh, reflectiveness, yeah, again. And this is where the model gets all its gold from. So there's gold on this model, but we can't see it right now. This is where it gets gold and silver parts from, from the specular texture. So now I'm gonna be showing you how to add all these textures in. So we're gonna to go to the link in the description again, go to the sg underscore shader dot blend where you can download this. We need to go into back into Blender. We need to click file, append, and go find that sg, uh, blend, SG underscore shader file dot blend file. Just find it wherever it is on your desktop, on your downloads, wherever, double click it. And for some reason, this always happens to me, this uh, down here un underneath advanced filter, this filter blender IDs is always turned on. I don't know why. It should be turned off like this. So you see all these folders. If it does, if it, you can't see those folders, just make sure that this is gray. Go to the no tree folder and double click on S slash G blender. Now you might not see a change. You don't, you, you, won't, you won't be able to see a change. Nothing happened. Now something happened in the background. All you have to do is just click on a part of the body. We're going to texture the body in this tutorial. We're going to go to shading. And here is just the, this is the albedo texture. It's not actually named, but uh, this is the albedo texture. Just working on the body, plugged into base color of the principled, plugged into base color. Like I said, this is the base color of the body. It is disgusting. If you do this, you're a disgrace. Anyway, we're just going to delete these two files right here, leave material output, and we're going to add, and we're going to search S slash G and you'll find this S-G Blender that we just added in. So click on it, add it right here, BSDF to surface, like so, and it, the model will go all white. Now we need to add the textures in. So we're gonna go to our folder, we're gonna go to the body, and we're gonna drag in the albedo, which is the diffuse. So if we drag in albedo, this is the main color, like I said, the base color. We're gonna connect color to diffuse. Diffuse is the same as albedo, but they mean the same thing. So now our model is going back to how it looked before. Next, we're going to add the AO texture, the ambient occlusion. So we're going to go in here, drag in ambient occlusion, AO texture. 
like this. We don't need to change any of this sRGB. We don't need to change it to non-color. So make sure on every single model that the color space is sRGB. You don't need to change it at all. But normally it is normally like that. So you won't have to change anything. But if you do accidentally change it, then make sure to leave it on sRGB. So AO texture, we're going to close it. The yellow to AO. There we are, like so. It's added a bit of uh, detail. You can change up the AO strength. So you can see it, you can see a bit of change. It's like the little shading bits. It's like uh, in between creases. This is what the AO texture does. So if you have it at about one, one is the normal, and you change it up really heavy or really light. We can leave it as one. We're going to bring in the specular texture. This is what gives it metallic and stuff like that. We're going to connect specular to specular like so. Now our skin is looking a bit more normal. It's got a bit of gold on it, but we've got a bit of silver. It's looking like the actual skin. We're going to do the same with the gloss texture. So we're going to drag in the gloss texture like so. And right here, we're going to close it a little bit and connect it to glossiness. Now this cavity right here, I don't think that any of this Pathfinder skin actually has any cavity textures in either of these. There's no cavity texture in this. But if you had a cavity texture, underscore cavity, do the exact same thing, drag it in, put it right here, don't change anything, and just connect the yellow bit to cavity, if that if your uh, model actually does have that bit, but this model right here, this Pathfinder body doesn't actually have it. Anyway, next we've got the normal, the normal map, so we're going to go back to the body, we're going to drag in the normal, now this, uh, this COD image util, the one we use to name all the textures, this uh, changes the normal map from yellow to blue, now you don't need to worry about that, all you need to do is when you're putting it into the shader, where it says tangent space right here, tangent dash space, just turn this to zero, that might change something, it might look horrible right here, but once we plug in the normal texture, it will go back completely fine, like so. Wait, hurry up, please. There we are. Looks perfectly fine. If, it, if this goes all the way up to one, it looks disgusting and goes all dark. Make sure that if you're using the name textures, if you're using the textures named, make sure the normal strength, uh, the tangent space goes all the way to zero. So we're going to close this again, put it over here, and now the emission texture. Some Most, uh, te most skins won't have an emission texture, but if there's a bit of glow, drag this emissive texture in, close it a little bit, and connect the yellow uh, the yellow bit right here, the color, to emission input. So now, if we just turn up the emission strength, you'll be able to see the bits of the skin that glow, like the little blue around here, over here. If we turn the emission strength up, you'll be able to see it glow. So we're gonna leave this on about 10 normally, I put 10, so it glows in the dark. And that is basically how to port an Apex Legends model. I'm gonna quickly texture the rest of the skin, doing the exact same method, just dragging in the shader and dragging in the textures, connecting them like so, and I'll be back in a second. I fully textured the model now, all the textures are in, all I had to do was literally drag and drop them because now because of the names, and it is nice. It is so much better than before with just the Albedo texture. All these extra textures have so much detail, and these models are so nice to port. So if you want me to make an update tutorial, if anything changes with Apex porting, I will. Also, if you have any issues, like I said, make sure to drop by the server and we will help as much as we can with you finding models, with you texturing, with you porting, with you even running Legion. We will try and help. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Also, one quick thing, these bones look disgusting right now. All you've got to do is go to uh, the, uh, the little, uh, little running man right here, viewport display and untick shapes and now they look fine. They just look disgusting, like, ugh, disgusting. Anyway. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new for tutorials. I'm going to make a ton because, you know, starting quarantine, nothing else to do. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.